And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the to the to the classic. Oh, oh. Times, times, times. Everyone, it's Alex back again, and it feels like so long since I've done an unboxing, but finally it's time to do an unboxing. And here we have, if I can block out the address, a gift from Rough Trade. Um, basically what this is, something I pre-ordered about a month ago, and it's I think it's in my top 10 of the year when it comes to albums. Um, me and, uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk too much, I'm just trying to ramble on, but yeah, me and uh, my buddy Tim from DJ High Moon were both talking about this album, and we were both saying how much we love it, how good it was. And the guy that produced this album is, he's basically one of my heroes. Um, and of course, as soon as I heard this album, I don't think I've ever hit pre-order quicker. Now, is this a top five album? I'm still deciding that. Um, I need to give this album a few more listens. I think I need to listen to it a bit more intently first. Um, but... Let's just take a quick look at it before I can tell you anything about it. It is, of course, Gangstar's new album. One of the best yet. And I love the cover with the deck there. The microphone. Guru Premier. Premier produced the album. He's one of my heroes. Um, hype sticker and all. As it says, it's the first album they've done in over 16 years. And there's so many guest appearances on here. And the only reason there's so many guest appearances and interludes and things is because this album is made up of vocals that Guru recorded before he died. Um, so that's why you've got appearances from Group Home, Q-Tip, Royce to 5'9", Jerry the Damager, J. Cole, Freddie Fox, Big Shug, um... Talib Kweli's on here, Neo's on here, Nate Scott's on here, MOP makes an appearance on here. There it is, the back cover. Um, I, I'm interested to know if this has, it's on coloured vinyl. Because it says at the bottom it's on red and blue, but I want to see. So I will do um, an, un, a reveal of this in this video. But if you want to know what it sounds like, you're going to have to wait for my next recent finds video. And that's something that I know some people don't like to do. Um, I don't particularly like to make you guys wait, but I need to give it a good listen to before I can actually, you know, give my review on it and, and things like that. I don't need the hype sticker. I'm not too bothered about hype stickers, particularly on my hip hop albums, because all they're gonna do is get played out. A nicer, mm, a nicer feel to the cover. Definitely good. Um, all of the credits in there, with what I can only assume is pictures of of Young Guru and Premier. From what I can see upside down. Got a microphone there, um, an MPC60, great sampler, and then a Technics uh, 1210 with the Gangstar slip mat. Yeah, but yeah, definitely a good album from Gangstar. I don't know, I don't even know if they have a bad one, um, but no, it's not colored vinyl. It's just standard black vinyl. But I don't think it's 180 gram either. It doesn't feel like it. it feels more like 140. Um, which is a bit of a shame really. But you know I'm not complaining too much. Because finally I can give the Gangster Arm a listen to. And you know they're only going to have about 3 tracks aside. Because Gangstar make do make their albums DJ friendly. I mean I don't play my hip hop albums out. If I if I can avoid it, um, but from the looks of it, is there a download in here? I doubt it. 
because they put all the tracks online anyway. But yeah, those are the other labels with the the, the damaged um, paper in it, but does bother me too much. So there you go. Um, yeah, the new Gangstar album. I am so stoked to give this album a listen on vinyl because I've only listened to it in, on MP3 at the mo at, as of the time I'm recording this video. So guys, that's it. If you're not a Gangstar fan, you probably didn't click on this video. Um, but if you are a Gangstar fan and you're here, um, if you, um, I can only can I can only really apologize for not giving an official review of the sound quality on this thing. That's gonna have to wait for my next video. Um, but I can tell you, I do like this album. Uh, I've heard that there's some people that are still on the fence about this album, or say that it's not the best. Now I know it's not the best Gangstar album. Nothing. Well, top moment of truth for me, but as a gang, as a fan of Gangstar and as a fan of DJ Premier's work in particular, I had to, I had to pre-order this. I could not leave it. So, there is the new Gangstar album, one of the best yet. Decently sized spine, so you know you're getting a good quality jacket there. But yes, definitely an album worth picking up if you are a Gangstar fan and you collect vinyl. If you're not a Gangstar fan, this might not be, obviously it's not for you. But yes, there it is. Gangstar is one of the best yet. Finally got it on vinyl. Came out uh, on the 6th. I'm recording this on the 7th because I only just got mine today because uh, I had to wait for them to get mine in stock. But yes, Gangstar's one of the best yet it is finally on vinyl and I cannot be happier. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, we show, I show everything from hip hop, soul and funk to jazz to a little bit of rock, but not too much, but a little bit. So yes, um, that's going to that's gonna do it for this video. And like I said, stay tuned for my next one when I actually do give a review of the sound and quality of the Gangstar album. So yes, and I will hopefully see you guys again very soon. Peace.